Good afternoon all. Today I'm going to take a look at this. It's a pan and tilt IP camera. A pan there, about, I don't know, 340 or 350 degrees and 100 and something degrees of tilt on the lens. Uh, it's wireless as you can see from the Wi-Fi antenna. It's also got a, a wired Ethernet connection and a 5 volt power socket. Now, as well as look at um, how it works, I'm also going to do a teardown. I'm going to take it apart. I might split this video into two parts, a get it working video and a take it apart video. Um, but first, let's put some power onto it. Now, I'm going to use um, this most versatile power bank in the whole world uh, because it has this um, 2.1 millimeter output, which can go anywhere from 5 volts to 13. So I've set it for 5.5. I need a nice strong 5 volts for this. It draws a lot of current. Uh, let's plug it in and see what the IP camera does. Well the first thing is it initializes the stepper motors, drives them right up to the end point so that it knows that they're in uh, referenced to uh, an end stop point. Now it's just trying to find the network I believe. Right, so it's found the wireless network. I haven't got any Ethernet connected, so that's on wireless. So let's have a look at what we can see on the PC. Now, I know that the uh, IP address when you format this camera, when you factory reset it, is 192.168.0.20. So I've typed that in. Now it's gone to the web page top.htm, and for some reason it's appended this string here with the current time, uh, the year, the date, and all that stuff. Not sure quite why it's done that. Now it's giving me uh, an image. This is a JPEG straight off the camera. Um, in fact, if I turn the lens on the camera, so it's sort of pointing towards me and refresh this page. <laughs> yes, yes, perhaps I'll just do another refresh. Uh, like so, excellent, okay. Now what about a live image stream from the camera? Well, this is quite an old camera. This is about, I think it's over 10 years old. Um, so the options are ActiveX and Java, and I'm using the Chrome browser, and neither of these seem to work. Java just says this plugin is not supported, and uh, ActiveX in Chrome brings up some controls, uh, but they don't do anything. I can't move the camera up and down or left and right, and there's no image stream because, of course, Chrome doesn't support ActiveX. So let's try a different browser. Well now I've got uh, Windows 10 here and the Internet Explorer icon is actually not Internet Explorer, it's uh, Microsoft Edge I think it's called. So this is uh, Edge, well that shows the home page okay. Let's try ActiveX, which you'd expect would work in a Microsoft product, but uh, no it doesn't seem to. Let's go back and try Java. Hmm, well that's not doing anything either. So uh, let's take out the old Internet Explorer. Okay, so that's the home page. Let's go to ActiveX. Now it says this web page wants to run the following add-on, ActiveX control from not available. Okay, we'll allow that. Yes, and that's working. There's a bit of latency there, so my lips won't line up properly with my speech, but if I yeah, you probably heard the uh, the camera moving there. So that's working. Let's go home. Excellent. I'm going to put the camera in front of my uh, monitor. So let's wind the camera around to the right. And it should eventually point at me. Yes, hello, there I am. Um, so now we can press home. And the camera goes to its default centre position. There are zoom controls but they're just digital zoom. Uh, you can probably just about make out the pixels there. Uh, it hasn't got an optical zoom. Now let's try Java in Internet Explorer. And we're getting all sorts of uh, issues here. Your Java version is out of date and I have updated it to try and get round it and it didn't work. So let's just say later. It just says error, click for details application block. So problems with Java, I can't get Java to work at all. But I do have ActiveX working, but only on Internet Explorer. 
Now this image is a bit small, so let's go into System Administration and uh, Configuration and Video. And now I can set it to 640 by 480, which is the uh, highest resolution that this thing has. So let's save that. I don't think the camera reboots when you do a video change. So let's go back to home. And now we have a much bigger uh, video screen. And uh, in ActiveX, that looks like this. Nice. Now, another way to uh, view IP cameras is using an app. And uh, a while ago, I downloaded this tiny cam monitor. So let's fire that up. But that just seems to be giving me random webcams around the world, not mine. So I think I'm gonna have to configure this a bit. Now, I know that uh, Cell Vision Systems, the manufacturer of this camera, also made cameras for D-Link and also TrendNet. And I found this, which is obviously the, uh, the same camera, and it was called the TV IP 400W. So let's try that in the app. So I've set that up here. Now let's check the uh, status. And uh, yes, I'm getting a live feed there. That looks good. So let's go to the um, main view page. And yeah, that's working. Now I've got uh, on-screen controls here for pan and tilt. And they're also working as well, that's really good. Hello. So that's really good, that's kind of given this thing a new lease of life. I'm quite pleased. Now the final way I want to use these cameras is in conjunction with this. This is my old QNAP uh, server, which can be lots of different things, file server, web server. But I've dedicated this old one to the duty of just doing CCTV, looking in on these IP cameras. So let's look at what that looks like on the browser. And it looks like this. This is the live view. It's actually looking at two IP cameras. Uh, the pan and tilt one, which is over here, which I can uh, tweak like that. And it's also looking at uh, my study cam, which is mounted up on the wall. That's this, this one up here. Um, it's another cell vision camera, essentially the same innards, but without the pan and tilt uh, mechanisms. Um, but although this thing has recognized this camera as a pan and tilt camera, there's a little symbol there meaning pan and tilt. If I click the options panel, uh, here are the options and uh, it has a thing show PTZ control panel. And uh, that appears down here in the very bottom left hand side of the screen. And although I can use this rather crude zoom control, pan and tilt doesn't seem to do anything. Nothing happening there. Interesting. So there does seem to be some life left in this old uh, IP camera, over 10 years old. Um, my surveillance station can use it for CCTV, that's fine. The uh, Tiny Cam Monitor app can be used uh, abroad and that actually works for panning and tilting the camera. So I could look around uh, a room from a foreign country, that still works fine. And you can access it via an ordinary browser with limitations and Internet Explorer certainly seems to be favoured. Anyway, time now to do the uh, interesting bit and take this apart. As I say, that'll be a separate video, I'll link to that up here, but for the moment, cheerio.